All right, well, the wife wanted fried fish. Well, I offered it. I just told her I had to go catch it. Pretty much just an excuse for me to go fishing. But uh, I'm gonna go out here, try to catch a few bass for dinner, and see if I can catch something. Oh. All right, there we go. We got one. Didn't even feel him hit. He just felt mushy. All right, there we go. Good one. No, and the hook comes out right then and there. That's what I'm talking about. Good one. That's two for the white frying pan. Look at that. Broke my damn hook. That ain't good. <laughs> Well, bait's pretty much trashed anyway. Fishing with a watermelon red. Super hog. I got some more of these. I gotta get another hook though. There we go. With the quickness. Got another good one. Shit. Almost got a damn hook in my arm for all my trouble. There we go. Another good one. Well, came up short of my quota, but as you can see, it's still daylight. I left because I gotta go to the bathroom. Really bad right now. So, I'm about to go run to my little local grocery store, go grab me a thing of fish fries so I can fry these bass up tonight. And, I gotta hurry up. All right, I just got done cleaning up. Turn that down, please. I have things I must do now. You can watch. Alright, I just finished cleaning my bass. I had three of them. And, uh, that's what I did. I cut them up in, like, little cubes and everything like that. Little fish bites. They, had, they were all female, so I took the eggs, too. And I cut the eggs, uh, in half. Because it's, like, like this. And I cut that, and I'm going to fry that up, too. One of the most important things I do with fish, I put milk in it. I soak them in milk for at least ten minutes. They've been soaking for about five. And, uh... I put a hot sauce in there also, just to kind of let it soak in, give it a little bit of flavor. But this takes the gaminess out. I do this with deer meat, hog, everything. Uh, unless like snap or a grouper or something that doesn't need to have this done to it. But bass, you kind of want to do it to it. Or at least I like to do it. I'll show you how I season up and then I'm going to fry it up for y'all and show you what it's like. I'm just going to add a little bit of everything to it. The blackening seasoning. Put a few shakes. Tony's, put a few shakes, a little parsley, I'm just going to put the rest in there, uh, that's enough, put some garlic powder, the pepper, and some salt. That should be enough. I'm gonna zip it up. If I can zip it up. Zip it up. Shake it. Just like that. Now we got some nicely seasoned bread in for the fish. They've been soaking for about 10 minutes. I'm about to drain them and drop them in here. And then, there we go. Off to the fryer. Yeah, so we might. I just pulse back those fish. Let's follow the Oh, nice. Coat it in there real well. Coated. All right, let's see if it's hot enough. I get a little test piece. Boom. Start bubbling. It's ready. Don't look, don't that just look delicious? <laughs> I'll leave it in there until it's golden brown. I cook it a little bit longer than most people just because I wanted to 
make sure it gets uh, nice and crispy. So. Another way you can tell is when the bubbles aren't as bubbling as much, means they're done. So we're going to take these out. So there it is. That's what it looks like at the end. They all crispy. That's what they taste like. Good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Somebody who don't even like fish, she's eating it. Look at her. Mm-mm. Baby guess what baby wants, right? <laughs> what you think? It's good? Yeah? Alright. That passed ultimate test. An eight year old's mouth. I guess it's pretty good. Stop, chill out. Well, that's what I do. I cook the I rarely ever keep bass, but my wife was asking me what we want for dinner, so I was like, man, I'll just go fish and I'll catch a couple bass and come home and cook it. Call three bass. Had to go to the bathroom real bad. But uh like always, if you like the channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment, tell me what y'all want me to do, what y'all want to see. Alright? Check y'all next time. Later.